Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to... Oh, right, that's not my game. <laughs> this is my LP, damn it. So you remember this little building a long time ago? Yeah, it's the witch. This is where Syrup is. Have you seen Maple? She hasn't come back for 400 years. Before we go off on our oceanic adventure, you actually need a magic potion in your inventory. So I'm going ahead and grabbing one here. You can get one from Maple, but for some reason, I haven't been able to find one. And I've knocked her down multiple times. So there's at least one other Kuko in the game. Yeah. Can't hurt it, though, so it doesn't count. Great. Where we're going... I'm not sure if you have to start out in the present, but head down from the Fireseed Tree in Lina Village and head out into the water. Let's just go swimming in the open ocean. This is a good idea. This is not where I need to be. That's a bunch of nothing. So there's grass down here, but you can't cut it. Yeah. Also, the ocean is sick. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Those globules. Yuck. Yeah, if you touch those, they hurt you. It's poisonous water. You can sort of clue into what will be one of our ultimate goals of where we're headed. So there's a couple gimmicks going on here. We're going to be traveling back in time, which is fitting because we have the Tune of Time now. But as we head out towards the Zora Village, the islands that we pass by are going to be cycling their locations multiple times. Son of a bitch. That's some serious drift in 400 years. Yeah. Does this island feel a little shaky to you? And only my grandson. We take a long time to breed. Yeah. Every 200 years, another generation. That's weird. There's a big rock just sitting on that sign. So this is your tutorial for, hey, this is what that song does, and it's pretty cool. There's the obvious utility, and then there's the game actually building mechanics around it. There it is. There's where I need to go. Just a little trial and error. Nope, wrong button. Boy, I hope you like the switch hook, because we're going to use a lot of it. Reminder, you can only use the weapon on the A button when you're a mermaid. Excuse me, beautiful mermaid? <laughs> Just saying mermaid does not discount that. It's nice of the poison to be very geometric. Right. Hey, look, the trees look kind of like Link to the Past trees. They've got that same Octorok-looking face on them. I get plenty turned around in this area trying to figure out the path, so I've cut out some of my going back and forth. Oh, yeah. It gets a little tedious after a bit. It's like, go as far as you can, then change time, then go as far as you can again. But there it is. There's the Zora Village. Yeah. Not a very big spot, but it's neat. I like its design. I like that they have street lamps. They do sort of block out the paths in at least one place. Right. But you are right, they do look like just ghosts with fins. Yeah. Their sprite is not great in this game, but, I mean, at least it's different from some of the other NPCs. 
Still kinda cute. The Gorons still win by a, a wide margin. I also like the music, but there's it gets interrupted constantly with how I'm playing it. And also, as you're swimming around, you're still making that bloop noise, so it's interrupting one of the tracks. The Zora scale, we can already dive, buddy. We can do more than that. We can stay down. Yeah, apparently the mermaid tail also gives you gills. It's like the opposite of Red Bull. Right. Well, oh, you'll never know what that sign said. <laughs> oh, it probably said something about the King's Palace. Probably Palace up north, off east, is the Eyeglass Isle. And look who's returning from Ocarina of Time. Jabu Jabu. Hey, buddy! Fish God. The King of Zora also returns from Ocarina of Time. Weep. 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 Luckily, that doesn't. <laughs> That'd be funny if it did, and you had to play the Song of Time to go forward 400 years until he's finally out of the way. <laughs> what a great comedy callback. 200 rupees! That's so you can go buy that medicine if you hadn't. Yeah. Still gotta make up the extra 100, though. Yeah, the medicine costs 300, so you're still down 100. Well, sadly, in the present, as I'm sure a lot of people wanted after Ocarina of Time, the king is dead. Weep. He weeped his last weep. <laughs> he also lost a key, which sucks in the ocean. Hmm. Oh, well... There's no way I'm going to be able to reach that. Well, not now. Why is there a library in the middle of the ocean? Well, you want it somewhere where it's quiet. True. Oh, drift. Oh, of course, Eyeglass Isle doesn't move, just everything else. Continental plates in this area. Oh, man. An Octorok fairy. You might not believe this. I need you to go back to that forest and find the fairies again. Oh, shit. <laughs> Guess who put me here? The Skull Kid. Well, I got an idea of what we're gonna get after all of this. Yeah. So, let's see, is the king alive now? Maybe. The, the interior of this hasn't changed at all. No. It just They just used the same zone, I think. Ah, so in this one, instead of Jabu Jabu getting sick, it is the king. And we just can't get into Jabu Jabu without the king saying we can. Jabu Jabu only opens his mouth when the king says so. Well, let's see. Well, he looks pretty normal to me. Looks pale, that's about it. How can you tell? How is he drinking liquid underwater? Ugh. You'll probably still drink it, it might just make a vacuum. 
yeah. Then the bottle shatters. Fills his lungs. Ah, glass. Exactly what I needed. You see, this medicine's useless. To McFly. Yeah, give me Jabu Jabu. I want to take him home. So this is amusing. We saved the king in the past. We can't get into Jabu Jabu for two reasons. One, Jabu Jabu's too small, which I think is adorable. But two, we insult him, so we need to wait 400 years for the king to not be mad at us. I'm still pissed you called him a fish. Well, blew that. Sorry, buddy. Let's quickly check out Zora Village in the past, since we're not going to be here very long. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's not much around here, but, you know, it is a Game Boy game. It can only fit so many things. I think there's even less NPCs. Like, everyone's just in the palace. They spend all their money on Gorons. There were a lot more Gorons. Right, and their area was a lot bigger. And they had mini games. I'm kind of glad to be done with those. Yeah, right. Once you've done them once. We get to Jabu Jabu a lot faster. So, I like that the Zelda games did this. In that, Zoras used to be enemies that, that tried to hurt you, and then they, they distinguished them. No, oh, no, no, we're not those Zoras. Vaguely self-hating racist, but whatever, right. we'll take it. They come from the other side of the tracks. But then he lost his glasses and then lost the key. Well, in the past, looks like the king has some of his color back. Again. How can you tell? He's a little bluer. He's blue like his, his uh, underlings, so I guess that's good. Oh, wait, did he always have that hat on? I guess he did. I don't actually remember. McFly calls it a fish again. He has to wait another 400 years. <laughs> Did you go look at Jabu Jabu in the past? I will. I haven't done it yet, though. Oh, okay. It's always funny what they decide to change between the past and the present. Damn it. I'll have a gotcha on the way out. Well, in the present, Eyeglass Isle doesn't have a door key. Right, so you've got the key in the future, but you can't use it until you go back in time. Luckily, the key hasn't rusted or anything. So what happened here? Did in the 400 years, someone just lob that into the ocean? We like our privacy. I think he's referring to the fairy. Yeah. Like, it didn't click with me until right now. I thought he was referring to something else. Please be quiet. I can't be asked to walk into the back. By the way, or, or. Yeah. Nope. Well, I see the puzzle here. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't rig it and do it early. 
you need to have the book there. On the plus side, with the door open in the past, nobody bothered to close it. And also, all the old men died. We had to slaughter all these old men. I feel like that guy is a reused sprite from a previous game. Yeah, I think he's in Link's Awakening somewhere, just don't know where. I can't read, I'm illiterate. I can't read, I'm busy rubbing my face against the bookcase. Aren't books neat? Four more and I can get a Pizza Hut pizza. Shout outs to anybody who did book it back in elementary school. We probably had something like that. I don't remember. Man, when I grew up, you had to read five books and you got a pizza. Five more, another pizza. It was great. This book tells you lots about seals. Sea lions. Walruses, but they're not seals. So they're not in this book. You like walruses? Get out. We don't like your kind around here. <laughs> Sure, you can have it, stranger. See ya. Once again, the thermodynamics of this world just start collapsing. Right, we're gonna place the book that's always been there. But we couldn't have placed it if we didn't grab it. And it wasn't there. Oh god. So this is a puzzle. Every time you open one of these books, it gives you a direction based on squares. So we need to do four to the right, two up, and then two to the right to get to the next book, if I can remember that. <laughs> and then once you get to the next book, that will open, the previous one will close, and you need to continue on. So any mistake you make, you gotta completely restart. Yeah. So use the torches on the wall to give you the grid lines. So I remember in school I studied and learned that the human brain can remember, in its short-term memory, seven instructions at once. Are, if we, are we cutting out accidental playings of the harp? <laughs> I've just now started doing it. I caught that. I did it once earlier, too. I thought I did pretty well here, considering. Look, McFly just has gas, alright? Okay, so that's seven directions. That was the limit you said, right? Yep, that is the uh, short-term memory limit. That's why uh, seven-digit phone numbers work so great. Ah! Oh! Well, it doesn't work for me. Take two. You know how I did that? I did the same thing that I did with those two shrines in Dueling Peaks and Breath of the Wild. I just screen-capped it. Perfect. Well, there we go. We got the fairy powder. Now we can save the great fairy. I could have just tossed it to you, but I wanted to see you fall. Continue on without fear. Just joking, I'm kicking you out. By the way, what is fairy powder? Oh, it's this thing! <laughs> Damn it. They call it White Pony on my streets. Yay, she looks exactly the same as all the others. Hey, racist. It's not my fault the developers didn't make her any different. Fairiest. It's not my fault the fairies are useless. Well, this one's not. This one isn't. She's gonna heal the seas. Now you don't have to deal with all that bullshit. Now, aside from the whirlpools, you can go pretty much anywhere you want. What's this? Oh god! They choke and die. I like how they're jumping underwater. Hey, they're underwater beings. We have no idea what their buoyancy is. Underwater starlight! Let's make out! <laughs> Lovely. No, heal me. 
This is all I'm good for now. I'm the queen of fairies, remember that. And the queen needs to be exactly like her people. Damn, you've done lots for us. Maybe you could enter the fish. I mean, Lord Jabu Jabu. <laughs> Damn it, no, I can't enter him. Yeah, you're right. His little bobble on his head changes color. I got tired of the old one. So that was the point where I heard Tiny Jabu Jabu and thought, I need to see this, that sounds adorable. Oops. Ha, you took out my eyeball! Oh, Boop boop. <laughs> Yes, Baby Jabu Jabu is the cutest thing ever in this game. Oh god. No god, get out of here. Clean waters, dirty ears. My PTSD is kicking in. Okay, thank you. You went up there on purpose. <laughs> I just wanted to clarify that's where the Zora's village is placed. Right nearby there. Man, our neighbors suck. They keep making me lost in my own house. As I sit here chewing the water. He's chewing on algae. King Zora will be pleased. I'm sure he heard about it 400 years ago. <laughs> He's good. When all of this is fixed and the timelines reconnect, how messed up is everyone's brain gonna be? It's so tempting. But next time, we will enter Jabu Jabu. Sadly, there are no cows in the wall. <laughs> That's one of the weirdest things anyone Nintendo's come up with. That guy was a genius. Well, unfortunately, it is a proper dungeon. It looks less like actual body parts than 64 version. There's only so much you can do with a top-down 2D. All in all, it's not a bad dungeon, it's just kind of long. It's not a bad dungeon, it's just I don't like it at all. Yeah, only it's horrible. It's basically this game's water temple. The water temple people don't really like, you have to constantly change the water level. Yeah, somebody at Nintendo really liked that gimmick and they just ran it into the ground for three or four games. I feel like the only time that ever worked was only between worlds. Because it was also like a water park. But that will be next time. I mean, it's going to be great, guys. No, you should watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I've already recorded it, so I don't care, but we're doing it. I still haven't recorded the dungeon immediately after. How bad is that one? The last dungeon's actually just really long and full of puzzles. So yeah, you're probably going to hate it. Hey. Seasons is probably going to be your game. I think you're going to like that one better. I do remember liking it when I played it. I just got lost. Yeah. Seasons has a really cool area, too, that's got some killer music. But a stupid gimmick. So kind of the same as H's. Okay. All right. I'm trying to be the apologist here. Oh, Hang on. I'm going to go throw up. 